Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, thanks for joining us on today's uh, incredible street rod video. Uh, right now we have two complete hanging tags. These are the hanging tags when you come into the store here uh, that we put on the front windshield of the cars to kind of describe uh, what's on the car and some of the detail and things like that that you wouldn't normally see. I'm gonna spend a little time going over this car. I'm sure I'm gonna miss 50% of all the little things that were done to this car. This car took roughly five years and $150,000, I keep saying car, uh, this uh, pickup. Uh, or street rod, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but anyway, five years and $150,000 in parts, labor, uh, and things like that. And as you look around at some of the details, some of the details, some of the small things that were done that you may say, well, that's not really a big deal, probably took a month or two months uh, to sort out. For instance, even things like the hidden hinges inside the doors. Like if you looked at a regular uh, pickup, you know, obviously they open one way or they open this way and the hinges would be exposed. These are uh, suicide doors, and they're done with these great hinges inside, and I got so excited about them. Like little, just little stuff. Like for instance, like check this out. This is a door handle to open, the, open it up. You just push it down like that, look at that. Lighting inside here, power windows. Look at the door panels, they're custom molded leather door panels, right? These are the hinges I was talking about right in here. Look at the, look at the workmanship. Somebody had to cut out that Get all of that to fit in there. Stainless steel screws to match it. Anyway, we're getting inside the truck and I don't want to get inside it yet, but I wanted you to see just how beautiful. But keep in mind, somebody had to weld all of this up, right? Sand, this is not just, uh, they, they didn't come from the factory like this, I guess is what I'm saying to you, okay? The fit and finish, look at the gap. Very nice. Welting all inside every panel, okay? I honestly think it's probably time to update the wheels and tires on this car uh, because it has a pretty big set of tires in the back, but I think a set of like 19s or so in the back, a set of 18s up front or 17s up front in a modern, more style rim. You can see the big brakes that are inside, so it's got the Willwood four-wheel disc brakes in here. Um, and just, well, let's keep walking around. Okay, so the paint alone, the paint is awesome. And I'm telling you what I love about the paint is it like a, a delivery van, good humor kind of white paint. And it looks great. I mean, check this out. It is absolutely, I don't want to say flawless, because I'm sure if you spend enough time you could find something, but we really haven't been able to see any imperfections in it. It's really, really spectacular. Down in here, come on over here for a second. Let's look at the suspension here. Check out that everything is chrome, plated, polished, detailed, brakes inside. This right here, this is really nice, and it comes with a tool called the spanner wrench. You can raise and lower the front end of the car. Uh, the truck to get it to whatever level you want it to. So if we change the wheels and tires, we can raise it a little bit. If you like uh, the suspension a little bit firmer, we can adjust the shocks there to give you a little more uh, handling. Uh, or if you like it a little softer, we can make it softer. Check out this right here. Here's the turn signals. You almost can't even feel them is how perfect they are uh, put inside here. This canvas top is really beautiful. Here, check out this mirror. Look at it, it's just a custom mirror. You can't even see the bolts of where it's mounted. There's no screws, no nothing. Gas cap, little stuff like this, like the way the bed is rolled in here. This is all sealed inside here. This is not like an open uh, curve like you would normally find in a pickup truck. You can probably see the big brakes inside in here. Look, Willwood brakes in there with the, I think they're called two-piece rotors. This is, <laughs> this is really, really nice, Ben. This is just one badass vehicle. Stainless steel fasteners, I'm looking at inside the fenders. All right, okay, a couple little touches back here. Come on back here, I'll show you those. Check out the gate release. It's a seat belt buckle. Look how beautifully this is done. For instance, now you say, well, that's a really nice looking bed, so what's the big deal? Okay, so what's the big deal? How about this? In here, some hidden storage, okay? Look at this, man. Okay, so these are mirrors for, uh, for showing the truck. Then there's all carpeted and storage in here. It comes with the spanner wrenches for adjusting the suspension. Extra belt. Comes with car cover. But look how nice that is, man. This is so well done. Look how beautiful. Rear end is housed underneath there. Recessed hinges in there. Even the, even the gas adjust to hold that up. Our, uh, our chrome. 
something we may have not seen, but it's got a third brake light recessed in there. Now what we're gonna do is spend a minute underneath the truck. And the reason why you need to spend a minute underneath the truck is although the truck is really nice looking up at top, it is nothing compared to the bottom of the truck. If you were to say, let me divide up 100% uh, into what I spent on the top of the truck versus what I spent on the bottom of the truck, I'd say you got 25% on the top, 10% in the bed, and all the rest underneath. All right, so here we are uh, laying on the floor. And quite honestly, I don't know actually how to handle this if I own a vehicle like this. It's like, would I spend time underneath of it or would I spend time uh, on top of it? Because everything about it has incredible workmanship in it. Even little stuff like you can't even see. I wish you guys could see like, uh, for instance, like the cross braces, a custom made frame for this vehicle, right? And in the cross braces buried up in there is the brake lines. And they're beautifully bent. And forget the fact that they're even beautifully bent and they're custom made and whatever, but they're all polished. Even the brake lines are polished. Curry Enterprises, big center section, uh, nine inch in here. Fully adjustable shocks here uh, for height and things like that. They're polished. The exhaust system is spectacular. I can't tell if it's chrome or polished, it's so beautiful. Look in there, you got the, uh, the Will Wood brake adjuster in there, so you can adjust that for uh, proportioning, how much brakes you want up front and back. Even the transmission is painted body color. The frame is just beautiful. Every little piece. Um, it's just, as I look in here, it's just so much money, so much time is spent on this thing. It's just incredible. We don't usually lay under the cars for like a while and talk about them, but if, you, if I didn't, I wouldn't be doing this truck justice. You bought this truck, you almost have to get a lift so that you can get some chairs to sit underneath with your buddies, right? And hang out and just log up. I left the hood up just a little bit so we could look under here for a second, okay? All right, so like again, we're back to all the things that are polished. Right. I just wanted you to see some of the things in here if you guys could come up a little bit. This has rack and pinion steering in it. It doesn't have the, the old uh, worm and sector just like most of the muscle cars and other street rides have. See, it has that. And it, not only does it have rack and pinion steering, it's part of the custom frame, but it's painted to match the truck. So everything on the truck has been done. For instance, even this right here. It has this cool old style walker radiator that's been recorded uh, to a new style, right? And then this custom fan shroud painted body color. Everything's polished in here. Here's air conditioning and modern heat. It's just really, really nice. You got an LT1 V8, makes uh, you know well over 350 horsepower. Um, and just, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna explain to you just uh, how great this vehicle drives. It rides well, it handles well, it looks cool going down the road. It's comfortable with the leather inside and the air conditioning. Just really, really nice. I had the hood up so I could get to the engine and show everybody and I'd left it up during the video. I just wanted to show everybody how beautiful the fit and finish was there. I didn't want you to think that it didn't fit properly. So uh, we have a tilt column and here is LED shift indicators to give you an idea of uh, what gear you're in. Really nice to see heating and air conditioning controls. Great vents. 5166 miles since it's uh, uh, finishing, which is pretty low. Sound system up here. Check that out. It's got the uh, remote. Okay, so you can keep your eyes on the road, so you're not texting while driving, and not playing with the road while driving. Cool billet street rod mirror, and even this stuff here, speakers, 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 all kind of built in. Great looking bezels around here, chrome latches for making sure the door is uh, correct. And these are uh, actually safety pins uh, right here, and what you do is uh, when you get in the car, you just push them, and it sets the door so the door can't be opened inadvertently and fly open, which is really nice. And that way they have to move these to get out. So you just move them for a second and it's easy to get out. But I don't know, as you go on and on about this vehicle, it's just, the, all the detail is just incredible. And these right here are fully adjustable. They go back and forth. There's storage underneath. The dash is done. It's steel also. There's so much work. If you've ever restored a vehicle, you know, from powder coating the suspension and then the custom frame and the hiding the air conditioning in a 29 Ford. I mean, just amazing, amazing what has to go on to get something done. From a color matched transmission to the color matched rear end, the frame is painted, the suspension is polished, the air conditioning, the rack and pinion steering, the wheelwood disc brakes, the digital sound, the cool bed that has a custom piece built in it. I mean, it goes on and on, the hinges that are uh, recessed and hidden. It's just amazing the work that goes in here. If you've ever restored a vehicle, just to restore a regular vehicle, it could take one, two, and three years. You can imagine doing all this custom work to a vehicle, 
It could take you, uh, you know, if it wasn't your job and wasn't uh, something you could do when you retired, it could take you 10 years to do it. So anyway, it's, uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to run down all the list, and, but uh, the power windows and the tilt steering column, whatever. Uh, but I don't think you could build it for three times the price that it's asking for right now. So anyway, awesome, awesome street ride. One of the nicest we have ever had. 29 Ford, call us 301-816-1000. Get this car and get it to the next show. See you later.